Hi, Chris here. Today we're going to learn how to play Texas Hold'em. We're going to talk about the different card values, chips, might even throw in a few chip tricks. Let's play some cards. In each deck you have two through nine and four different suits. So each number has a higher value than the next. After nine come the face cards consisting of 10, jack, queen, and king. Then followed by an ace. Now the ace can be the highest card in the deck, but it can also be the lowest. So in poker each hand is made up of the best five cards. Here you have a jack high. If they both have jacks then the next highest card determines the hand. This is called a kicker. So the next highest hand in poker is the pair. Here you have a pair of eights with a jack kicker. This beats a high card. Here we have three of a kind. Three eights in this case. And of course a jack kicker. Beating three of a kind you have a straight. This consists of any cards listed in order. The highest straight would end in an ace. Beating a straight, you get a flush. This is all cards of the same suit. Just like the straight, the highest card in the flush would beat the hand. Next you have the full house. This is made up of three of a kind, also paired with two of a kind. Here we have three eights and two aces. Four of a kind is next. Here we have four eights. The highest four of a kind would win. After four of a kind, you have a straight flush. Here, the eight being the highest, four being the lowest. The best possible hand in Texas Hold'em is the royal flush, starting with the 10 all the way up through the ace. For beginners, it's good to have a cheat card. Basically, a card that shows your poker guide. So this card here shows every possible hand that you could get in poker and list it in a hierarchy. That way you know what beats what. You don't want to be caught folding the best hand. The community cards are cards that everyone shares. The first three are called the flop. Then you have the turn and finally the river also known as fifth street. You'll notice a card is burned before each is turned. Let's talk betting. In each hand you have a dealer, a small blind, and a big blind. The small blind bets a half a bet, but the big blind bets a minimum full bet. Then action goes to the dealer. He has to match the play and then the small blind. The big blind then has the option to raise or check. If he checks, the flop comes out. When he raises, action goes back to the dealer to match. If you don't want to pay, you can always fold. The object, of course, is to go home with all the chips. I'm all in. In the end, you gotta know when to hold them and know when to fold them. I'm out.